this is one of the occasions uh, of a, a story that happened in the village sometime in the 1970s. I wasn't at the particular mass. Uh, John Mariatti told me the story, the, the great philosopher and advisor John Mariatti, who actually comes from my band, where I come from as well, that'd be good to him. He told me this story, he's written about it too, I think, in, um, in the trilogy, the, 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 it's one of the trilogy books anyway, and um, this is my, my story of it. I call it I thirst. The reason I call it I thirst is that one of the last things Christ said on the cross was that he was thirsty. Midnight Mass, one Christmas Eve. The parish comes to pray, a midnight of nostalgia after a hard day, for some have been preparing their Christmas at the sink, and others have spent the day reveling in drink. At midnight mass the parish bows its head in prayer, all but one have come along in pious posture there. All day he's been drinking in the corner house, when it comes to closing time he buys to carry out for after mass two bottles of Guinness extra stout. And he stands there with the others at the back wall of the church, when it comes to the offertory, suddenly with a lurch, he staggers up the centre aisle while the crowd looks on in shock. Halting at the altar rails, careful not to drop the bottles, he takes them out, plants them on the rails, faces the congregation, waves and then repairs to the back in anonymity, hitches up his arse, and some are shocked and some amused at this unholy farce. But the Christ who thirsts on Calvary has waited all these years for a fellow curse with the cross of thirst, Stand him these few beers. <laughs> <laughs>